What happens when a reality TV show starts to promote suicide on national television just to get good ratings and money? Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be watching the movie titled, the show also known as This Is Your Death. So turn on the subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a live reality TV show named Married to a Millionaire, hosted by Adam Rogers in Seattle. During the final scene of the show, the millionaire groom chooses one of the two remaining contestants as his bride. As the host celebrates the union, the rejected bride shoots the millionaire groom dead for rejecting her. She then aims at the girl that was picked over her, but Adam jumps in saving her from getting shot. Just then, the jilted bride gains back her wits and after realizing her mistake, she places the gun barrel in her mouth and pulls the trigger. The tragic death of two individuals ends up getting recorded on camera, and the entire country starts talking about it. The following day, at a morning show, Adam is invited as the chief guest and hailed as a hero for saving the life of an innocent contestant. Adam emphasizes that he is not a hero and just did an act of kindness that every human being would have done. Moreover, he takes the blame on himself, claiming that the outcome is his fault, the fault of the network, and of those who tune in every week to watch the show. He then goes rogue, blaming the network for covering the fact that they pitted two women against each other. This outrages the network executives and they go off air to stop Adam from stating the harsh facts. Perplexed, Adam goes home and tells his sister Karina that he will probably get fired from his job. Karina consoles him and encourages him to forget about his job and continue his studies. Moreover, she assures him that he did the right thing by speaking the truth and that his parents would be proud of him. She then leaves for her job the hospital where she works as a pediatric oncology nurse. Adam then gets furious when he receives a voicemail from Elena Katzenberg president of programming who informs him to show up to a meeting of the network execs the next day. At night in the office, Alana chats with a struggling janitor named Mason Washington and casually asks his thoughts on the morning show that broadcasted Adam's truth. Mason hesitantly tells her that he liked the honesty of Adam as not many people have the courage to state facts. He then requests more hours so as to qualify for medical benefits, but his manager brushes him off. After working long hours at the network office, he leaves for his second job. In the morning, he returns home only to find two bankers leaving his house. Mason lives with his wife, daughter, and disabled son and struggles to manage their expenses. Meanwhile that morning, Adam goes to his office to attend the meeting. In the meeting, the head of the network, Bernie, claims that neither the network nor the producers of the show could be held liable for the disastrous outcome. Just then, Sylvia Rowland, a well-known producer, enters the room. Bernie goes on with stating the possible lawsuits that the network could face, but Alana shuts him down. She asks everyone to leave except Adam and Sylvia, and pitches them a new show during which contestants will commit suicide in a live broadcast. Sylvia is shocked to hear Alana's proposal and walks out of the room immediately, but Alana reminds her that she is under contract and cannot turn down the show. Adam, who thought that he would be fired, refuses the offer and walks out. Meanwhile, Mason's wife Rebecca questions him about the arrival of the bankers. It turns out that they had come to inform Rebecca that they are way behind on their mortgage. The couple argues on paying off the debt as soon as possible to protect their house. Adam, on the other hand, rewatches the show and curses himself for hosting it. Devastated, he goes jogging and can't stop having flashbacks of the horrific incident. Puzzled, he goes to the network office, ranting to Alana for exploiting people just for the sake of ratings. He makes it clear that he is not going to do a show that affirms death. He decides to accept the offer, but only on the condition that the show encourages viewers to appreciate life and to foster empathy. Both Alana and Adam come to an agreement and preparations for the new show begin at full pace. Sylvia, who didn't want to be a part of the show, shows up at the studio as she has no other choice but to keep up with her contract. The new show is titled This Is Your Death, and its first episode goes on air. Adam opens the show by talking about his idealistic principles, clarifying that his intention is to promote the appreciation of life and that one person's death can improve the life of another. Alana and the other network panel go crazy upon noticing that Adam is not following the script given to him and is speaking on his own. Adam talks about his first contestant named Sarah Hickey, who is a troubled housewife of an abusive husband. Sarah talks about how his husband molested her daughter and how she hopes to give her daughter a better life through her death. Adam asks the viewers to donate toward each contestant's specific needs. Sarah appears on stage and electrocutes herself in a bathtub, 
after revealing she had murdered her abusive husband. Adam's sister, Karina sees Adam's show in the hospital and is disgusted by the concept of it. Meanwhile, in the network office, the crew and the audience are devastated by Sarah's death, but give Adam a round of applause. After the show, Alana congratulates Adam for putting up a spectacular show and tells him that they raised a whole lot of money. While Alana and Adam celebrate the win, Sylvia seems skeptical about it. On the other hand, Mason gets fired from his janitorial job after he requested health benefits. Enraged, he goes to his second job at the bar where he finds Adam. Pissed at getting fired, he tells Adam that his show is barbaric. Adam does not pay heed to him and goes on flirting with Sylvia. In the morning, Karina shows up at Adam's house all furious and berates him for putting up a disgusting show. Just then, she finds Sylvia coming out of Adam's bedroom. Sylvia sides with Karina and tells her that even she is against the concept of the show. In the hospital, she forbids her young patient Elliot from watching Adam's show. Later, Mason tells his wife about the dismissal of both his jobs. Rebecca is bewildered to hear it and tells him that if they lose their home, she will have no choice but to leave him and take the children. Mason assures her that he will find more work to make ends meet. Alana shares her concern with Adam that the audience might stop aiding money after a while. But Adam brushes off her concerns, assuring her that he will keep putting up marvelous shows that will force the audience to donate. Soon, Adam loses his idealistic views and becomes more concerned with ratings and melodrama. In the next episode, he pits three contestants against each other and asks the audience to donate to the best one. Sylvia protests against it, claiming that they are profiting off of other people's misery, but no one listens to her. One episode after the other goes on air, the show starts growing in popularity, eating away at Adam's sanity. Meanwhile, Mason keeps looking for jobs and ends up selling his car to acquire some money. Soon enough, This Is Your Death becomes the number one television show in the United States. Adam buys a luxurious house for himself and also allows his sister to stay in his neighborhood. He even offers to lend her money so she can fulfill her credit card debt. However, Karina turns down his offer, calling his money blood money. When Adam tries to defend himself, Karina lashes out at him, begging him to stop exploiting people's misery and wake up. In the next episode, Adam talks about his sister calling her ignorant and senseless on national television. This outrages Karina, and she loses her wits. Sylvia calls her and tries to talk her down. In this process, both Sylvia and Karina develop an understanding. Meanwhile, Mason tries to hide his misery from his son, but he bursts onto his father for keeping him out of the loop. Meanwhile, during the show, a woman's carbon monoxide asphyxiation takes longer than expected, and Adam fears that they will lose the audience if it keeps taking longer. Despite Sylvia's protest, Alana and Adam decide to fake the death for the audience and let her die offstage. Adam goes backstage to check on the dying contestant and finds her trying to escape. However, the stone-hearted Adam pushes her back inside unaware that the camera inside the car is still rolling. Sylvia notices the footage playing in the office and is shocked to see it. Later, she confronts Adam about it, but he lies to her that the contestant died on the stage herself. Adam gets worried that his ratings might go down, so he asks Alana to offer $1 million for the death of the year on the season final. Later, Sylvia makes a copy of the footage in which Adam forced the contestant inside the car. Meanwhile, Karina suffers at her job when her patient's mother transfers him from her ward to keep him away from Karina's influence. Although Karina tries to prove that she is not like her satanic brother, the enraged mother does not listen to her. Rumors get around that the death was faked and people start protesting against the show. Soon the FBI takes notice and starts investigating the case. Meanwhile, Karina gets fired from her job after she is caught stealing drugs. She relapses and starts drowning in depression. Helpless, she tries to reach out to Adam, who previously supported her through drug addiction and depression, but Adam distances himself from her. Meanwhile, having no other choice, Mason decides to audition for the season finale to get money for his family. He gets selected for the show but tells his family he has gotten a wonderful new job and must go take a training course. In reality, he was heading to the studio to be the third scheduled suicide. Before leaving, Rebecca apologizes to him for being harsh to him all this time and the children hail him as their hero. Sylvia and Karina secretly brew a plan in which Karina decides to be the second contestant on the show so she can have Adam come back to the right path. Before the show starts, the FBI agents arrive at the network office demanding Alana hand them the entire footage of the car exhaust episode. 
Alana talks them down and asks them to wait until the season final is over. As the show starts, the first contestant commits suicide by stabbing himself in the stomach. As Adam calls the second contestant, he is surprised to see that it is none other than his sister Karina. Alana resents Sylvia for putting Adam in a difficult spot, but Sylvia does not pay any heed to her. Adam tries to stop her, but due to the distance between them, he is unable to do so. Horrified, he races to stop her, but arrives too late after Karina had already injected herself. After Karina's body is taken away, Adam lashes out at the audience and walks out of the studio to transfer his sister's body in an ambulance. The third contestant Mason is called on stage and Alana is shocked to see him. He chose to blast himself and his wire with explosives. Adam, on the other hand, collapses on the street outside the studio. Meanwhile, Mason has a change of mind. He begins crying and refuses to press the detonator button. The audience is touched by Mason's story and cheers for him as he leaves the stage to go home. At the same time, Sylvia approaches the awaiting FBI agents and hands them a copy of the footage proving Adam is a killer. She then leaves the building with Mason while watching Adam suffer on the ground. The film ends with FBI agents arresting Adam who yells at the crowd to turn off their cameras. This movie has a rating of 5.6 on IMDb. I hope you all like this video. If yes, then make sure to like, comment, and most importantly subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.